Hi, welcome back. I'm Mr. Peck here, here to help you with Chapter 6, uh, Circular Motion. Okay? Now, this is the question 4. This question 4 uh, is the example for vertical circular motion. Now, the circular motion has become vertical. Before that, we have learned about circular motion in horizontal, horizontal plane. Uh, and also, we have learned about conical circular motion. Conical circular motion. Now, is the vertical circular motion. Okay? Um, the important thing here is you must pay attention to how we draw the free boy diagram. How we draw the free boy diagram and how we build the equations. Okay? For the x and y components. So, make sure you pay close attention yeah, to the free boy diagram and how we build the equation for the centripetal acceleration. Okay? An object of mass 0.5 kg at the end of the string is swung around in a vertical circle. Huh? It's a vertical circle of radius 1 meter with a constant speed 5 meter per second. What are the maximum and minimum tensions in the string? Uh, okay. Oh, in the string we have different tension okay so what information given we have the first of all we have the mass we have the okay it's a vertical circle and is uh we have a radius r a radius of the circle we have the radius of the circle we have the speed we have the v uh, these are all important information now um want to find a maximum minimum tension so in the string. So we want to find tension and we have two. We have minimum and maximum. Minimum and maximum tension. Two value we need to find. Yeah? We have two values. And G value we just use uh, 9.81. That's it, huh? 9.81. So these are the value the values given: mass, radius, and velocity. Now remember how you draw the free bar diagram. Okay, so why you have different tension? Why have different tension in the string? It is because it is traveling in a vertical circle. Ah, when you, the object travel in a vertical circle, there will be t different tension. If horizontal circle, the tension normally is the same, uh, but if vertical circle, the tension become different. Depends on the position. So, which position has minimum tension? Which position has the maximum tension? Okay. So, as you can see, uh, there are only two positions which is important in vertical circle. Two positions only, which is the top and bottom. Actually, you can uh, simply imagine like that. Um, uh, for a circular motion, when object uh, travels to the tops, the string is a bit loose, looser, yeah? It's almost like going to fall down, isn't it? It's going to fall down. So, the tension here is not, is not high. So, at the top, normally, it's minimum tension. Okay? Normally, at the top, is minimum tension. But at the bottom, as the bo uh, ball travels to the downward at the bottom, oh, this part has the highest tension. Uh, this part has the maximum tension because it's like it's like very taut. The string is being pulled by the weight of the object. Uh, yeah, it's being pulled by the weight of the object. It's not falling. It's a uh, it's a very tight string. Uh, so at the bottom normally is maximum tension. At the top, at the top is like object try to fall down, tend to fall down. So the string is like it's like uh not taut. Yeah. Uh, so it has minimum tension at the top for the string. Okay, that's how we imagine things. Uh, but technically, technically, we need to show the the calculation to prove that the top has minimum tension, the bottom has the maximum tension. So to prove that minimum and maximum, you need to make equations. Okay, to prove you need to make equations. Okay, so let's let's see. Um, so here is here is how we draw. At the top, we have the weight of the object going down, and you know, uh, tension always going up from object. 
Uh, tension only pulls, never pushes. So tension always going out from object. So it's uh, going downward. Yeah, it's, you can imagine like the the string try to pull the object, pull the 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 uh, the ball downward. Okay. Uh, the string only pulls, never pushes. It's very weird if you draw something like like this. Is if you draw something like this, the string the string suddenly push the push the Put the string suddenly uh, push the the object is totally weird. We don't have the string to push any objects. String only pulls, never pushes any object. Yeah, this is so so weird, which is wrong. Okay, so string only pulls, uh, pulls. Yeah, no matter is top. Yeah, pulls. Uh, yeah, at the bottom also the string pulls. You see, only pulls. So the the tension always out from object, out from object. Okay, the tension always out from object. Okay, enough of that. Now at the top, you have the weight downward. The tension pulls downward. So, uh, centripetal acceleration is downward. Why? Because the center of circle is at the bottom. Is at the bottom. So the centripetal acceleration is towards the center, towards the bottom. So that's why centripetal acceleration is also downward because towards the center. Huh? Centripetal acceleration is downward. So uh, we must put the sign going downward is positive, going upward is negative. And that means uh, these forces, the weight and the tension, both of these are positive value because they follow acceleration, same direction as the acceleration uh, value. So Weight and tension both are positive. So just put them uh, tension plus weight, both positive, uh, equal to the MAC. Uh, okay? And then uh, we can substitute AC with V squared over R because what we have is we have V. Uh, we have V. If we have V, we use, you know, if we have. Uh, I want just want to say if we have v, we just use ac v square over r. Huh? If uh, we have omega, then we just use uh, ac equal to r omega square. Understand? Uh, so which one you you choose depend on what is given. Uh, yeah, remember that. Uh, so just put that down. Yeah, this is uh, some important notes. Yeah. Okay. So if you have V, you just use V squared over R for AC. For if you have omega, given omega, like if I give you frequency, give you frequency, you can find omega. Uh, from there, AC you put R omega square. Okay, so this time we have V, we use V squared over R. So uh, we put this as uh, M V squared over R. AC is V squared over R. So tension plus weight. So tension is equal to mv square over r minus the weight the weight is mg ah okay ah, now we have the equation for the top now let's do the bottom let's also do the bottom the bottom we have um, uh, tension pulls the string pulls tension pull upward so tension going up the weight going down uh, only the y component. You see, all the while we only have y component forces. So just put y, fy. So it has centripetal acceleration going upward. Why? Because the center is at the top. The center is at the top. Centripetal acceleration towards a, is towards the center of circle. So centripetal acceleration is upward. Yeah, upward. So uh, follow acceleration is positive. Okay, follow acceleration is positive, opposite acceleration is negative. So we can say that the tension is positive, the weight is negative. Put that down. Tension is positive minus the weight. Uh, yeah, negative. Weight is negative. Tension is positive. Okay. Now, uh, put in the value. Um, uh, you know, uh, v squared over r, v squared over r for AC. So we got our tension here mv square over r plus mg ah okay now can you see the difference can you see the difference so at the top at the top position the you know you see the it is minus mg 
So when the value being minus out, the mv squared over r being minus y mg, it becomes the tension minimum. You know, yeah, this mg is like uh, it's trying to uh, falling down. You know, the the block is trying to fall down, so it makes the string less taut. Uh, it makes the string less taut. So that's why the tension becomes minimum because min minus by the weight of object because the object tends to fall down. You know, the string becomes less taut. Uh, so it minus. So it becomes. So at the top, at the top has the minimum tension. That's why the top has the minimum tension proven by this equation we built so always build equation to prove something don't just empty talking yeah uh, don't just empty talking you must prove by equations now at the bottom at the bottom you know uh it become it is plus mg you see uh, it is plus mg that means what that means this tension have to overcome the weight you know have if to overcome the weight so like so heavy at the bottom. So this weight uh, makes the string taut. You know, the, the weight of the object make the string taut. The weight of this object make the string taut. Uh, so it's like plus mg, yeah, make the string taut. So uh, at the bottom has the maximum tension. That's why. So normally uh, uh, the string tends to tends to to uh, uh, tends to break at the bottom. The string tends to break at bottom. Uh, why? Because it has maximum tension. It, se it seldom the string seldom breaks at the top because the tension is minimum at the top. Tension normally maximum at the bottommost position. Tension tension of the string. Is the maximum at the bottommost of the string. Uh, so string tends to break when the object is at the bottom position. Tends to break over here. Yeah, tends to break. There's a question on uh, what is the tension when the string break at the bottom? Something like that. Yeah. So be careful. Now uh, we want to find the minimum and maximum tension so we have to calculate put in a value okay put in a value all so what is our mass huh? what is our mass 0 0.5 good 0 0.5 our velocity is 5 just put in a 5 uh, square divided by radius is 1 meter isn't it uh, yeah 1 meter minus the weight the mass uh, 0 0.5 uh, our G use the 9.81. Okay, 9.81. Okay, so what our minimum tension is equal to uh, 7.595 Newton at the top. Minimum tension. Okay, now let's continue with finding the maximum tension at the bottom. So let's continue. Uh, put in a value our mass just now is 0 0.5 0 0.5 velocity is uh, 5 radius 1 okay just put in all the value and g is 9.81 so finally we get the tension maximum is 17.405 newton uh, this is the the bottom tension at the bottom as the maximum tension. Minimum tension at the top. Seven. Is it seven point six only? This one seventeen point four. This one minimum tension only seven point six. This one seventeen point four maximum tension at the bottom. Okay. So that's how you you do the questions for vertical for vertical circular motion. You must know how to draw the free wall diagram. That's it. Huh? So um, you see, uh, and also the follow acceleration always positive. Uh, depend on where the acceleration. This one acceleration going down. So going downward is positive. This one acceleration going up. The so acceleration is positive going up. The po the force is going up. The like tension force going up is positive. Follow acceleration. Okay, all these things you need to know. So hope you enjoy. So let's continue with uh, fifth questions later on. Bye.